iRacing's week 13, what is it? This is perhaps one of the most frequently asked questions throughout the entire community every time a season comes to an end and we find ourselves in this weird stretch of seven days on the service where there's strange races going on, less people around to race with, and everything that you're used to taking part in is mostly gone. Week 13 is a mystery to a lot of drivers. It's a time to take a break from the service for others, and for anybody left over, it's an opportunity to do some truly unique racing with little to no impact on your personal ratings. With the recent explosion of new members to the iRacing service comes a percentage of those who have either experienced week 13 maybe a few times or those who are experiencing it for the very first time. To the inexperienced, week 13 can be a bit overwhelming because it is so vastly different than the standard seasonal format. I frequently get asked the same questions whenever week 13 rolls around. Does it count towards my I rating and my safety rating? What's the point of these races? What do I even do during this week? What changes are coming in the next season? There's a lot to cover here as we transition from season two into season three in 2021. So let's get into it. But first, a big thank you to this video's sponsor, Advanced GG. If you're on that I rating grind or trying to jump up to that next license level, Focus from Advanced GG can help you get there. It's the only clinically proven esports supplement to boost mental performance in high pressure gaming environments. To get your hands on some focus, use the link in the description to head over to advanced.gg and use code HOUSE at checkout to save 10%. Week 13 is when iRacing deploys new content and features service-wide, effectively bridging the gap between the end of one season and the start of a new one. During this downtime for its standard racing series, iRacing offers a curated list of races that fall into one of two categories. Official and Fun, aka Unofficial. The races in the official category work just like any other official series in the regular 12-week season. Races are split by I rating, and each driver earns or loses I rating and safety rating based on their race performance and result. Conversely, the races in the fun category do not award I rating or safety rating, but they are still subject to the I racing code of conduct. So despite there being no real consequences for a bad finish here, you can and will be protested for actions in these races. With all of the season championships decided and no points up for grabs this week, you may be asking yourself, why bother racing any of the official series if there's nothing on the line? The answer? It's your last chance to secure a license promotion. In iRacing, license promotions happen at the end of each season for drivers who meet the participation and safety rating requirements. Did you fall just short of making the required number of starts or perhaps take a huge blow to your safety rating last week? Week 13, while different, is still part of the current season, and that means you still have a week to grind out those starts or get some clean races under your belt to get up to a 3.0 safety rating. For example, let's say you're trying to make that jump from a C license to a B license on the oval side. You can use the official C fixed races during week 13 to satisfy your participation requirements and get your safety rating up over that 3.0 mark. That way, you'll ensure that you get that license promotion when week 13 ends. The same principle applies to road, dirt oval, and dirt road as well. There are official races in all four disciplines, meaning no matter what you like to drive, you have an opportunity to gain some valuable safety rating and participation before the end of the season to get that license promotion that you want. 
So don't look at week 13 as pointless just because there are no points on the line. See what I did there? This is your last opportunity to get that license promotion that you've been working so hard for. Believe me, nothing stings more than falling just short of getting to that next level because you didn't quite have the safety rating. You got one more week to make sure you get there. Use your time wisely. If you're not looking to do any official races during week 13, the fun category of races offers a wide variety of car and track combinations. So let's take a look at what you can participate in, assuming you've purchased the content. For Oval, we've got Pickup Cup, Delara Dash, and Carb Cup. These are the same three series that run throughout the normal season as fun, AKA unofficial races. So. Unfortunately, nothing new here. On the roadside, there's three options here as well. First, we've got Tube Frame Twister featuring the Arca stock car. Up next, Battle of the Little Wings utilizing the brand new free to all members Formula V car along with the Skip Barber, USF 2000 and Formula Renault 2.0 cars. The third and final offering is called 13th Week Ridiculousness, featuring the Porsche LMP1, GTE, GT3, GT3 Cup, and GT4 cars in multi-class racing. For Dirt Oval, well, you, you only get one, but it's an interesting one. It's Skip Barber open wheel cars on dirt tracks. I can't wait to see what this looks like. I, I will definitely be doing those. That sounds awesome. And last but not least, Dirt Road. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you're, you don't get anything. That's it's kind of a bummer. Additionally, there's the new content and features series, which allows members to jump in and try out new or recently added content. For this week 13, we've got a few different options. The shiny new shakedown for the Formula V car, again, free for all members. SRF challenge for the brand new Spec Racer 4 Gen 3. Silly send it for the 1987s versus next gen NASCAR stock cars. That's going to be wild. We've got GT3 challenge with fixed setups. And Music City Mayhem for the super late models. I don't know exactly what this one is, if it's Nashville Fairgrounds or Nashville Super Speedway, which hasn't come out yet, but it could be both. It could be just Fairgrounds. I don't know. If it's just Fairgrounds for super late models, there's literally nothing new about that. So I don't know. A pretty interesting assortment of things to do during week 13 for unofficial races. Again. The same three oval races that we get to do during the regular season, kind of a bummer there. I love pickup cup and carb cup and all that, but with all of the content that's out there, how do we not have something new to try at least during week 13? And for the dirt road crowd, man, that is a huge disappointment to not have anything at all. There's just so much good stuff to try out. So many wild combinations. If this is a truly limits free week, where anything goes, we've got 13th week ridiculousness. Why can't we have something for Dirt Road? I hope we can see that in the future, but at least for this season, there's nothing there. As I said at the start of the video, iRacing deploys new content and features to the service during week 13. But the big question that everyone really wants to know is what's changing what do I get to buy and what's free? All right, let's be honest, nothing's free, but what's changing and what is there available to purchase? In the past, new cars, new tracks, quality of life changes, and other improvements to the service were deployed at the start of week 13. But recently, iRacing has shown that they're not afraid to release new content outside of that window. Just look at the NASCAR Next Gen car and the Chicago Street Circuit, both of which were released 
during Wednesday night Pro Invitational Series races during this season. According to the iRacing forums, the service will be coming down for maintenance on Wednesday, June 9th at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. During this, iRacing will be deploying the more technical, back-end changes to the service that will radically alter it as we know it today. Worry not, while the service is down, you can still utilize the iRacing test drive service to try out any vehicle you want as long as it's been downloaded, even if you don't own them. Now think about that. You can download any car you want to, even if you don't own it, and test drive it during this maintenance period. But it comes with the caveat that you can only drive these cars on tracks that you do own. So you can test drive any car you want, whether you own it or not, as long as you own the track that you want to drive it on. See the official forum post for links to download the iRacing test drive service and more information about the deployment of this update. As of the recording of this video, here's what's been confirmed to be added to the iRacing service for Season 3 of 2021. The Formula V, it's free for all members. Porsche 911 GT3R SCCA Spec Racer Ford Gen 3 Volkswagen Beetle Lite for Rallycross A new user forum for both desktop and mobile users. It's a complete overhaul to the visuals and interface for the forums. That's awesome. A complete overhaul for the Dirt Road License Ladder. And finally, four brand new fixed setup series the Fixed F3 Championship, LMP2 Prototype Challenge, World of Outlaws Fixed Sprint Cars, and the Formula V iRacing Series. Again, this list is only what I've seen to be confirmed for Season 3 of 2021, and there may be some surprises when that update actually goes live. iRacing has been pretty good about keeping at least one secret under their cap. We'll see if they deliver another one this time. My expectation is that new cars like the Formula V and updated Spec Racer Ford will be available at the changeover to week 13 on Monday because they have their own featured series during the week. Remember, that Formula V car is free, so if anything, at least go check it out. I've heard it's a lot of fun from people who have test driven it already. It doesn't cost you anything, might as well give it a shot. So there you go iRacing's mysterious and often misunderstood week 13 explained. If you found this video to be helpful and informative, remember, help me out by leaving a like on the video and sharing it with other sim racers so we can bring this kind of content to the entire community. If you're new around here, I'd love to see you join our community by hitting that subscribe button. And to the OGs of this channel, thank you for your continued support. A huge thank you goes out to the members of this channel who go above and beyond in supporting this content. I'll definitely be doing some week 13 shenanigans, so if you want to come watch, I'll be over on my Twitch channel that's linked down in the description below. To get in touch with me and stay up to date on news, live streams, and other happenings in the racing world, follow me on Twitter. That's linked down in the description below as well. Again, thank you so much for watching this video and have a great week 13.